So in the previous video, we set it up so when we joined the server and it was successful, we actually transferred ourselves to the lobby via our widget switcher. So the way we currently have it, when we hit back from the lobby, we are confirmed, well, met with a message like a fail safe to confirm whether or not we want to leave or stay. Hit no, we stay. Hit yes, we leave. And at that point, that's when I want to disconnect. So if we scroll down to our yes, leave, what I want to check is one, we're the host. So I want to get host, do a branch. And if we're the host, we disconnect everybody. If not, then we will, we know that we're the client and we just disconnect ourselves. So then we get the client beacon. Check if it's valid. From there, we're going to call our disconnect function. So let's look at the client beacon rule. If we scroll down to overridden from a online beacon, that section, we have this function called destroy beacon. Uh, so set it. Reading this real quick, I believe that should be the function we want. So we're going to override this. So we can probably just call it. Can we do that from Blueprint? Rats. No, we can't. So we have to make a Blueprint. Yeah, Blueprint implemental. Blueprint callable function to kind of handle that for us. So Blueprint callable. We're going to do void. Leave lobby. And what leave lobby is going to do is it's going to call destroy beacon. Hopefully, once destroy beacon is called, if we scroll down on the host beacon object, we will see notify client disconnected. It should be kind of like a trigger to indicate that a client has in fact disconnected. Here we have our leave lobby, and we're going to call. It was destroy beacon, like so. Go ahead and that's not compiled just yet. Let's actually override the notify client disconnected function. I want to do that right down here below our on client connected event or function. I mean, you know, it's kind of an event and create its definition. Eventually. There we go. It is right here. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna call super on client connected, leaving client actor. And I want to print out a log, so do we log? Client as disconnected, like so. Now in the beacon client, I'm simply going to move leave lobby down somewhere to the bottom or connect, so to an area where it kind of makes sense. And I'm going to compile and close the editor so I can actually call the leave lobby function because hot reload doesn't always seem to work for me very well. Let's see, client connected, just object at 30. Oh, now compile. Okay. Launch war to war, all the project. Okay, now we need to try to call it. So from here, we're gonna call leave lobby, only if it's valid. 
and see what happens. Launch into your copies. Let's go ahead and host. And this one is my host log, and this one's my client. Connect. There we go. It's connected. Try to leave. So there we go. On the server, client has disconnected. So notify client disconnect as in fact seem well seems like it fired. And it goes through and it appears like it actually closes the connection. Test one more time real quick. Try to connect again. Client connect connect the client valid. Yeah, so it closes out the connection just fine. And appears like it does the rest on the client. So that is good and ready to go. So if we are the host, what I will want to do um do, do, do. I want to loop through each and every client. Let's see, is there a function to disconnect them by default? Yeah, disconnect client, the online beacon client, and it will disconnect them. All right, so what I'm going to do is in the game mode that we made, Nazi Zombie main menu game mode, close the CPP. We have our host object variable here. I want to make a getter function to actually get it, and then a public function or a blueprint callable function on here called disconnect all clients. So we're going to make a function, a blueprint callable. Let's call it, it's going to return this class. Let's do get host object or get beacon host. And what it's going to return is host object. And if host object is valid, we'll call a function that we created on our host object. So because I know I'm going to have to restart the editor, I'm just going to close it now. And let's make this return host object, like so. And now, doo -doo -doo, not sure why you open it back up. Oh, wait, yeah, I do. Duh. Uh, on the Nazi zombie beacon host object, let's create a blueprint callable function. It's going to be void disconnect all clients. So this way we should hopefully have access to our host object from Blueprint and be able to call, for example, this function here. So I'm going to go ahead and compile and set it up to try to call this. I'm just going to print out a log. Disconnecting all clients. This will cancel the build, just redo it. Okay. Let's see if we can get it to print out that log message and we should be good. So back to the widget. So yes, leave. We are the host. What we want to do is let's see, let's do um probably actually store yeah, for now we're just going to do get game mode. We'll customize it and set it up to make it a lot neater in the future. We're going to cast it to our Nazi zombie game mode. <coughs> then as this, we're going to do get, what was it? Get beacon host. 
do a valid. Yep, it's valid. We're going to do disconnect all clients, like so. So let's see if a log gets printed. Disconnecting all clients. So it has. So let's look at this function here. So we're on the beacon host object. Now if we look at the beacon host object in the documentation, at the top, under variables, you will see a t-array of a online beacon clients called client actors. Now that's going to hold all of our connected Nazi zombie beacon clients. So what we can do is we can loop through them. So we're going to do a for loop, so for a online beacon client client in client actors. I think that's what it was called. Yeah, client actors. And from here, we're going to simply do client, uh, what was it called, to disconnect? Yeah, disconnect client. We'll do disconnect client. Client that we're going to disconnect is the client that we're on. In here. So we'll do an if check. So if client, just, I'm not sure entirely if the for loop actually will do that for us or not. But, anyways, once that's completed, all the clients should be disconnected. I want to kind of tear down our own beacon. So it should be called on register. So after all the clients have been looped through, we're going to do unregister. Let's see, that's called when. Let's see, I'm, is that correct? I'm going to look at the online beacon host real quick. and just read through it real fast. So we need to call unregister host. Real quickly, I want to test by calling on register and just see what the odds are of that working, which I highly doubt. But we will find out. And if it doesn't work, then in the next video, I will go about setting it up and making it work. So let's go ahead and pile. Probably need a way to kick our uh, clients back to the main menu, though. This one is the server. This one's the client. Let's try to leave on the server. Go to connect to host beacon. Out of curiosity, when I comment out on register, does it still run that event? That's what that's what I'm wondering. I feel like we should destroy if it does, then I want to destroy the beacon. So, yeah, it does. So, I'm going to simply destroy the beacon. So, disconnect the client. Before we do, I want to do the... <clears throat> Let's 
let's see. What about, I might be able to just call it directly. Or is there an on disconnected event? So on connected. Right, there's not. So I guess we can actually, inside of our main menu, if it on connected fails, well, if it was successful, go to connect server. We're going to simply do get the client beacon, which it should be valid. I'm not going to bother doing a check. We're simply going to call. Leave lobby. That should kill it. So let's see. It's the game. Join it. Server leaves. Go to connect to server. So. Now what I'm wondering, I feel like the server's probably still up, even though we're disconnected from it. Can I connect to it? Yes, I can. So the uh, server hasn't properly shut down. So we're going to have to make it because unregistered, and I have unregistered copy, like an idiot. So this will be the final test to dictate whether or not this actually kind of you know, shuts the server down or not. Let's give it a quick test. If we're going to host the server, join it. The server's going to try to disconnect. Like so. Go to connect to server. And I'm going to try to reconnect. And it still connects. We're not properly destroying the server, so we will have to take a different route to this. So I want to end it here, where we actually have it so we can disconnect the client, and we will fix the disconnection of the server, well, so it completely shuts it down, in the next one. So I'll see you then.